have literally like two minutes to get on the train and I'm risking it all to get a coffee. <laughs> well, I think that was the worst night's sleep I think I've had in my entire life. <laughs> okay, I'm super stressed. Okay, I'm running with the food. I'm running with the food. <laughs> Okay, so we are starting our journey to Bangkok. It's 1.30 in the afternoon and our train is until about 6 p.m. So we're just in Starbucks, tea and a coffee, and we're just gonna wait here and work for a little bit. I think we're gonna go somewhere, maybe get a foot massage or something, just to fill in the time, and then we'll catch a grab to the train station. And we're gonna head on the overnight train. So come along for the journey. We're just on the way to the train station at the moment. We had a foot massage for about an hour, so we're very relaxed. It was really good. And now we're on the way there. And when we get there, we board the overnight train. So we're good, I've got all the stuff in the back. <laughs> and we're ready. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me because the train's really loud. But we just got here and now we're gonna head on and we're gonna board the train. It's a little bit early, about half an hour early. We're gonna pop on and just hang out on the train instead of waiting out here just in case. <laughs> so apparently we're number two, which is all the way at the front, <laughs> which is all the way this way. This is 10. <laughs> okay, two is a long way down the end. It's still going, the train is so long. I'm tired from walking down here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's us. Okay. <gasps> okay, so big problem. We're on this train until 6, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning and they just told us when we're coming on that they're no longer doing food or serving us food or there's no food cart. You can't buy food on the plane, on the, on the train. <laughs> it is six o'clock in the afternoon and we can't eat till 7 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm gonna quickly go and see if there's any food up here. But there really wasn't. There was only like a sit down restaurant um, and then like a little like convenience store type thing. So. I'm a bit worried. I'm literally not going to be eating tonight. <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm super stressed. I'm really stressed. I feel like I'm going to cry. Oh, I don't have food all night or all morning. There's a 7-Eleven over there. So I just ordered some, um, I don't know what I ordered. I literally pointed something on the, on the menu and I said, like, I have two minutes. Like, can you cook? He's like, yep, yeah, three minutes. So... I don't know what I got though. Thank you, Paprika. Okay, I'm running with the food. I'm running with the food. I have literally like two minutes to get on the train and I'm risking it all to get a coffee. <laughs> running <laughs> all the way back down. You probably can't even see my face. I have coffee. I have Coke. I have dinner. That's it. Okay, let's go. I don't think I even ran that fast in athletics. <laughs> I'm so hot. Whoops. On the plus side, all of that for 170 baht. <laughs> hey MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> I'm here to give you the first class train from Chiang Mai to Bangkok tour, okay? So first of all, we have our sink. This is the uh, nav anthem. Okay, so that was the Thai national anthem. It happens at like six and seven and you just stand still if there's a picture, then you just face the king. Anyway, we're here. Time for the tour. Seat number one. And we have seat number two. This is my bed <laughs> for the night. This is our dinner. <laughs> this is our workstation. Downing table. You have that, I love that. These are our workstations. <laughs> this is our curtain. This is our view. So when Michael was researching, he couldn't find any information as to where you actually put your bags. Um, we, he didn't know what was going on. We didn't know whether we checked them in like an airplane or like what happened or what we had on us or whatnot. So we packed a day bag with all of our things in it that we would need for overnight and then put the rest of the stuff in our bags. But you actually keep your bags with you and it goes 
under this chair that I'm sitting on. So it goes down there and you keep it with you the whole time. So you don't have to check any bags. You have it with you the whole time that you're on the train. So it is currently 6 p.m. We've just left and we're on here until 6 a.m. And as you saw, they only just told us that we don't get food. So this is all we have for food <laughs> until tomorrow morning. I actually haven't explored yet, but you have what seems to be like a channel up for the TV volume, a USB and a power. I'm assuming that's to turn it on and off. Do it. Press it. It's not going back. Um. Oh yeah. Cool. That's for the TV. So there's one charging point down here on the lower thing with a reading light. There's another one up the top bunk. So when I'm in there, I can plug my phone in up the top. And there's also a TV for the bottom bunk and the top bunk. These go down to if you, ah, ah, ow. <laughs> this also does go up. So I'm assuming that's for when Michael has his bed laid out for him and he can lay down here flat. But otherwise you can use it for a table, for working, eating, etc. But then you have one here, a tiny one as well. I'm not sure if the laptops will fit on it. I'll check what's on the TVs for you now. It's just Thai TV channels. Apparently it's just Thai TV channels. <laughs> Checking our ticket. So fun fact, we thought that when you book this, you get the cabin itself. Okay, so I'm going to explain the ticket. Now see if we can get, see if we can explain this in a way that we both understand. So, apparently you buy the ticket or the seat, right? So I could buy this whole cabin, but I only buy it for myself. I have bought one ticket for me, right? You can pay extra to get the whole room to yourself. However, you I can't buy this room and bring Michael. Michael needs to buy his own ticket in the cabin. So if you're a solo person and you're traveling on your own, you can pay say 2000 baht for the whole cabin for yourself. But if you're traveling as a couple and you want the whole cabin, you have to pay, let's say 2,400 baht. So you still have to pay for your own seat, if that makes sense. Or if you're by yourself, you can just buy one ticket in the cabin and hope no one else buys the other one, but someone else could buy the other seat or other bed in the cabin and then you're in a pretty tiny space with someone that you don't know very well. Now, fun fact, the top bunk costs less than the bottom bunk. So there you go, because it's individual seats and tickets. I'm gonna put it on the screen now, however much it costs us for both of us. So two seats in the one cabin. Oh, yes, try, try. Yeah, no. Okay, so it's quarter to eight, and they've just come to ask if we want the bed done up now, and we said yes, so they're gonna come back and do it up for us. Okay, so he came in, and it was like quarter to eight, and he was like, do you want your bed done up now? And we just said yes. So he went and got all the, like, I'm assuming this is bedding and stuff. And then we basically just waited out in the hallway and he set up the whole bed for us. So it looks kind of like a double, uh, like a bunk bed. And he just like pulled this top thing out from the thing, laid it all down, got a really thin like sort of mattress, put that on top, made the mattress with some linen. And then he pulled out the bottom bunk a little bit further, just so it was a little bit wider um, for you obviously to have more room. Put the sheets on that, put the pillows on, and then he's left these for us. I'm assuming they're our bat, um, blankets and stuff. Yeah, it looks like a blanket. It looks like a, actually, it looks like a towel and a blanket. This looks like a towel. It feels like, yeah, it does. It's a towel. I feel like this is a towel. So oh, there's shared um, toilets and towels, yeah, toilets showers. and towels, toilets and showers. So with the 10 units things, I think you said there's 12, three toilets. 12 units. And t three toilets. Three toilets and one shower. Okay, one shower. Because on the televisions, it has the pictures of the toilets and the shower green. And then if someone's using them or it's locked, it's red. So you know, like, don't go because someone's in it or go because it's free, which is really, really cool. I like that a lot, actually. So you're not going to go when someone's in the shower and so on and so forth. Yeah, especially in the middle of the night. They give you a towel and a very thin blanket, to be honest. <laughs> but it's a blanket. So let me climb up and see how much room we have. Okay, so these are your, these are your steps. So you have two little steps here. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we're upstairs. <laughs> you can't sit up, um, so you're probably going to have to lay down, but <laughs> it's like smaller than a single bed, but it's okay. Is I've put my bag up here, and that just means I can like access it easily <laughs> um, if I need anything during the night. Yeah, so it's 8 o'clock now. I do need to go to the bathroom soon, so I'm going to show you the bathrooms really quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the bathroom. It's been a few been a few hours. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. It's like 10 o'clock at night. 
So I left about four hours ago. Let's see what the bathroom's like. Okay, I'm gonna give you a tour of the shower. I'm gonna go in. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry if you can't hear me because it's so loud on the train, but I thought I'd give you just a little tour of the shower. This is basically it. <laughs> there is a liquid shampoo and liquid soap and just one light on the wall and then literally, literally the shower head and that's, that's the tour. <laughs> Look, it's a shower. What? You know? I'll show you the bathroom. So, very basic toilet. <laughs> you have a toilet, <laughs> um, almost like a public toilet, I don't know, like one of the metal ones. There is a bum gun. Um, and then there's basically just a toilet paper roll, so loud, uh, a hand right, a hand paper towel, somewhere to wash your hands, and a bin, and that's basically it. And there's not much room for much, but it's a toilet, and it's your own private room, and you have three of them, so can't complain. It's, it's a toilet, it's really loud, and it's moving a lot, but I'm on a train, it is what it is. Okay, I'm going to take my makeup off now, and um, this is what I have to work with, so... Let's go get ready for bed. <laughs> it feels like we're stopping at a stop. So the other thing as well to think about is that we've had not very good reception on our phones basically the whole time. It's jumping between 3G, 4G and then nothing for a while. So make sure you download movies and shows that you want to watch beforehand because I forgot. And <sighs> So we're going to go to sleep now. And when we see you, it's going to be bright and early, but you're going to see me in a few seconds. So, let's go to bed. Night, vlog. Well, I think that was the worst night's sleep I think I've had in my entire life. <laughs> so she's made an announcement. I'm just waking everyone up. It's about 6 a.m. I think I woke up every like half an hour. Um, nothing in particular woke me up, so I don't know what it was, but let's get up. <laughs> Good morning! So about 20 minutes out of Bangkok, we just had to stop now. Um, it's just been stopping sort of along the way. It's about 6.30, 6.35 in the morning. I have to brush my hair and <laughs> put some clothes on so we can get ready to leave the car. Okay, so we are on the train still it is about 7 a.m and they said originally that we'll get there at 6 50 at 6 54 ish so we're about 20 minutes late they said 7 20 now but we just looked it up in our hotel where we're staying living Airbnb apartment is a two kilometer walk away from where we're getting off that's the new overpass we're doing like Oh, our stuff is moving. He came in and he put the beds. <laughs> what was that? It looks like she's putting it on, but she's not. <laughs> the train was wobbling <laughs> that bad. Hey, I'm ready to get to the apartment now, I think. We're staying in, where are we staying? Silom area. Silom area. This is Bangsu Grand Station. This is the new Grand Station. Uh, all the trains are going to eventually, when they've figured it all out, terminate here. And then you'll have to catch, like, public transport into the city. We're still pretty far out of the city. We're closer to Don Wang Airport. In Kuala Lumpur no. State. Kua H. Kua. Kua H. Kua Lumpur. There you go. I'm I'm learning. <laughs> station in Bangkok. We just got here. Just got off the train. Um, this is the main big station. So it's really really pretty and really grand. But this is the station. Okay, so we're on a two kilometer walk. 
with our bags <laughs> and it's um not as easy as it looks and it probably doesn't look easy so but we're here in Bangkok Woo. all right just keep moving just keep swimming just So we have half an hour until we can check into our apartment. So we're gonna sit here, we're gonna drink a coffee, we're in Starbucks. And that was a long walk, so we're gonna just debrief for a second and then we're gonna go in, check in, and I'll see you shortly before we do that. Okay. Okay, so we've just sat down in our apartment. We have been going all day. We're gonna go for a walk. We have to get a coffee because that's number one for me and we have to get some breakfast or some food of some sort it's about 11 a.m and the train didn't give us breakfast or any sort of food so we haven't eaten since dinner yesterday like you saw so we're starving so we have to go get some food now we're going to go for a walk maybe a walk to the park to the shops who knows then i'm, I'm going to give you an apartment tour so make sure you like and subscribe because that's going to be in the next one and i'm going to show you the whole apartment the whole apartment complex and trust me it is amazing Oh, oh, oh. So make sure you like and subscribe to see that and put the notification bell on to make sure that you see what you can get in Bangkok for $1,000 a month. I'll see you then.